Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Blockchain Central. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at IOTIX. We'll analyze this project, identify its main features, and see how it aims to power the internet of things. My name is Blue, and in today's video, we're gonna continue our journey into the internet of things. Every month we publish three videos, two in-depth explorations into the fascinating world of blockchains, and one video where we summarize the most important events of the previous month. If you wanna stay up to date with our content, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit that little bell to always get notified when we drop a new video. Also, be sure to check out our Medium blog at medium.com slash at blocked essence. See the link in the description below for details. You can also follow me on Instagram at TheBlueMantic to stay up to date with my other projects. Now, let's talk IoT. When talking about IOTIX itself, First, we need to say a few words about the Internet of Things, or IoT. We have already talked about it in detail in our dedicated episode on IOTA and in our digital identity series. Just as a quick refresher, we use this term to address all devices that can be connected to the Internet or any other similar network. Such devices need to also be able to connect, share, and use different data. The difference between a machine that's connected to the Internet and an IoT device is that the latter has to make decisions based on the data it's collected. Experts say, by 2020, more than 50% of new businesses will be run through IoT. Some countries like South Korea already experiment with the so-called smart cities, where sensors gather data, which is later analyzed to facilitate specific actions. This could have a benefit of saving time, money, and minimizing pollution by providing goods and services in a sustainable way. One of the fundamental challenges when talking about IoT is the issue of privacy. Essentially, Anything that is connected to the network can be targeted by hackers. That's a real threat, but for many people, the systematic surveillance and data gathering by big corporations possesses an even bigger risk. Even when there is no ill intent present on the part of the company, the sheer amount of information that they can hold can make it prone to a leak. IOTIX aims to resolve some of these issues. The project's ambitious goal is to deliver the internet of trusted things by facilitating a blockchain with a strong focus on privacy. IOTIX also promises to find solutions to the challenge of scalability, an issue typically associated with the distributed ledgers. The technology that's capable of such impressive feats is based on an interesting consensus mechanism called Randomized Delegated Proof of Stake. This protocol, also known as RODPOS, is a variation on the Delegated Proof of Stake, an algorithm mostly known for its application in the EOS blockchain. Check out our episode on EOS by clicking up here. Roll DPoS is a consensus protocol based on the concept of votes. Just like a regular DPoS, consensus is achieved by a limited number of delegates reaching an agreement. Here, each node can self-nominate to become a block producer. Then, all token holders can vote for those delegates who are, in turn, ranked according to how many votes they received. What's important? The voters have to stake tokens to receive voting rights. The conversion rate is actually very simple. One IOTIX token equals one vote. Another important concept in Roll DPoS is the notion of epochs. An epoch is essentially a consensus round. At the beginning of each epoch, a group of delegates is selected. This group later forms a pool of candidates. During an epoch, one of the delegates will become a block producer, while the others will serve as validators. These roles are also likely to randomly shift during each cycle. As the network grows, more nodes are likely to get into the pool and have a shot at becoming producers and validators. That is why this consensus mechanism is touted as a more democratic version of DPoS and is also characterized by high throughput, instant finality, and high resilience to network attacks. The security and scalability of this blockchain stem from the fact that each pool of producers and validators can be broken down into subchains that can operate simultaneously. These subchains are referred to as layer two in the IOTIX nomenclature. Even if one of the subchains is attacked, the root chain should still remain unaffected. The root blockchain is what's responsible for the security and network governance, while subchains can adapt to the specific needs of various devices. These devices can also be bundled together based on their respective trust levels or functions. This is referred to as a separation of duties and cross-chain compatibility. What's important Side chains can easily communicate with each other and with the root blockchain. This all means that while EOS has been criticized for prioritizing security over decentralization, IOTIX claims to be fully decentralized thanks to its node, self-nomination, and 
the randomization of delegates. IOTIX currently runs both an ERC20 token and their native token. The native token was launched together with IOTIX mainnet alpha and currently both the Ethereum tokens and the native tokens coexist. It is the ERC20 token that is still being traded on exchanges and the native token serves as a utility coin used for running transactions on the network. The mainnet alpha, which launched in April 2019, is the first implementation of IOTIX root chain that will allow for the creation of layer two subchains as well as running dApps and smart contracts. As of July 2019, the network still operates primarily on Ethereum and voting and other governance tasks are managed through the Ethereum IOTIX bridge. Their own governance layer, dubbed the Gravity Chain, is to be launched later in Q3 or Q4. Together with Gravity, a token swap will be initiated on selected exchanges, but IOTIX claims that even now, users can swap the tokens on a one-to-one -one basis. Please note, that we could not independently confirm this and some exchanges are known to only allow one-way transfers. So please do your own due diligence when looking into IOTIX. When Gravity launches later this year, the network will be divided into the following layers. Governance handled by Gravity, orchestrations handled by the root chain, operational layer handled by the layer two subchains, and execution. The execution layer is an optional platform to which certain computational tasks can be offloaded. In addition, IOTIX has also launched their Vitality Community Token, which is designed to reward community members for their involvement. The tokens can be earned by staking or voting, community tasks, and referrals. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the technological aspects of IOTIX and what makes it unique, but how can this technology be applied on a daily basis? Some people mentioned the identity tracking, share economy, self-driving cars, and finally, smart homes as the possible use cases. From a business perspective, the team clearly bets on IoT devices becoming more popular, with the number of smart devices participating in the Internet of Things growing steadily, IOTIX hopes to become a significant operator in terms of volume, even if it powers just a small fraction of the market. After all, the total number of IoT devices is expected to exceed 50 billion by 2022. The total value of the market is also projected to exceed 450 billion USD by 2020. In addition to running IoT-specific smart contracts and dApps, IOTIX could also be applied to peer-to-peer -peer sharing economy, decentralized lending applications, supply chain solutions, and user authentication. Before we finish, we have to look at IOTIX's main competitor, IOTA. We have already made a video dedicated to IOTA. You can check that video out here. But let's just mention a few key points so that you can understand the differences. IOTA is a partially decentralized open source platform based on the Direct Acyclic Graph, DAG. DAG is a data structure that links individual items to each other by constantly following one direction and avoiding the possibility to create loops. IOTA's very own DAG architecture is called Tangle, and it is meant to mitigate the typical blockchain limitations, such as high transaction fees or limited scalability. Every user can operate as a full node by confirming two randomly chosen transactions made by other nodes. This allows the scalability to grow proportionally to the number of transactions, which stands in opposition to most blockchain solutions. The fundamental difference between IOTA and IOTIX is in their approach to scalability. While IOTA depends on a DAG to achieve it, IOTIX focuses on subchains. Another difference between the two projects is that DAG may require a coordinator node for smooth operation, whereas Roll DPoS promises to be completely decentralized. It is still too early in the development of IOTIX mainnet to confirm that, but the underlying architecture seems to make full decentralization possible. It should also be noted that IOTA is currently planning the removal of their coordinator node in the near future to become truly decentralized. In summary, IOTIX is a very early implementation of a new and interesting concept in consensus design. If successful, this technology can serve as a viable solution to the scalability trilemma, one of DLT's biggest challenges to wider adoption. What's interesting is that IOTIX seems to put less emphasis on the marketing and communication and mostly focuses on technology. This is an interesting approach, and we'll have to wait and see how it works out for the development team. What's your take on IOTIX, and which IoT blockchain do you like best? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, please note that this content does neither represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat. You can also follow me on Instagram at the Blue Mantic to catch up with my other projects. Also, check out our blog. The link is in the description below.
See you in the next one.